Hey everybody, welcome. Look, infinite regression. But guess what? This isn't just any old infinite regression. It's a weekend infinite regression. Extra special, extra special good. Let's let's uh, not dwell too much on the horrors, the terrors, the scaries, the whatnots. And let's uh, perhaps instead think about the good. Think about the video gameage that we're going to play. Yes, <laughs> We figured out that Roombo eventually, remember that? No, you don't, you don't watch my videos. How dare you lie to me? You lie to my face, I'ma bring that regression back. Tell me lies. Anyway, hey, um, look at this. Now, this one should be under the A's because it starts with an A, atomic run jump gun jump, jump gun jumping gun. No, it's like, Atomic jump gun run gun? No, run jump gun jump. Okay, I'm not. I, I, I don't have seizures. Turdy tree. See, look, run gun jump gun. I told you. I told you it was. And atomic is spelled weird. Anyway. Scavenger, locked. Oh, I like them graphics. You, you ever play a game with graphics before? It's exciting. Exciting when they got graphics. Anyway, we're gonna scavenge. In section one, the sun is dying. Warlords have taken over. Hysteria reigns. Of course it does. My God. You don't have long to live. You gotta escape the solar system. Hold L to jump. <laughs> to jump. Don't tap. Okay. Wait. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Alright, hold R to shoot. Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, and death. Okay, this is... Yeah, alright. Already I could tell I'm going to have a difficult time. Uh, you just saw me having... Uh, oh, no. My god, be worse at this. Okay, you just gotta have a light touch on that trigger there. Scavenge Atomics, yes, uh, obviously. I, like, if I was here for anything different, I would have said so. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm... I've got to be the second or third worst atomic scavenger in the whole place. Oh my god. my father could see me scavenge atomics like this, he'd, he'd be ashamed. Good thing he's not here. I mean, you know, he's elsewhere, other side of the country, and he doesn't watch YouTube, so, you know, it's all good. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, I'm bad at this. Oh, but I made it through that part. There you go. This is still the tutorial, and I'm still... Yeah. Did I know I could skip levels, me filthy scavenger? I did not know that, nor did I care to know. I prefer to not have that kind of power. Ah.
Finally, she's Melise. Yeah, the sun will take all of us out with it. it that's how dying suns work. Oh, jeez. Oh, good. Uh, now the checkpoints are going to be fewer and farther between. Oh, my God. No, I was making progress. Hey, there we go. And you're gnawing at our carcass. You're a nibbly little maggot. Well, then why'd you teach me how to do it, you dingus? You notice I don't tell thieves how to break into my house. You know, I'm not like, hey, thieves. Come lick my house in a devious way. I don't tell the thieves, like, press L to open my front door. Which I should, because it's actually R. R opens my front door. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh. Is there a mode for people who are bad at this? Because that would be ideal. Okay, don't. That's such a tight spot right there. Like, I can't... Uh. Like, it's hard because you can't, you know, shoot... You, you can't... Okay, like I can't get up ahead of the scrolling of the screen at all. Like, and and that's such a like impossibly tight spot to Yeah. See, like even when I'm doing well, I was doing pretty well that time. Oh my god. Oh, how dare I? Look, I am gun jumping and run jumping and atomicking, but like, and yet, and yet, it still feels, oh, I hit that checkpoint, you saw me new part to die on. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. New part to die on. Oh. Alright. Hold up. Ah, it's hard to get up and over stuff. With the when the screen is advancing, it's very like this has like it favors the pixel perfect. I could see this is a speedrunners type game, but do you see me speedrunning, huh? Do ya? I don't think so. No, I don't care about your story. Because you insult me all the time, and like, I don't care about the backstory of people who are like, you're the worst and I hate you, you know, like, maybe you're the worst and I hate you, how you feel about that?
Oh, I gotta make it a ways and not not die. So that's gonna be a whole thing. Okay. <laughs> that time I wasn't sure that I was still alive. I was like, what? I can't possibly still be alive after all that. Oh, hey now, that was almost decent. I mean, not in terms of picking up them atomics. Yeah, I'm ignoring your words, because you're mean. You're a meanie pants. You're a meanie pants. Like, just, there are things people need to know about themselves. And you need to know that I view you as a meanie pants. Okay, like, the screen moves faster than you're able to shoot. Oh my god. That was rough. But I made it through. Holy Moses. Oh, section two. The rotting sun shakes an old scavenger descends hungry for the fall. All right. Uh, I'll trust that you know what you're talking Oh my goodness. Yeah, call me a birdie. That's normal. Oh my god, this just got so much harder. This game has a degree of difficulty. I would not wish on, uh, I don't know... An old Soviet dictator, I'm guessing, is who I wouldn't wish it on. Oh, uh, what? Well, maybe you don't like me not wishing it on your Soviet dictators. Maybe I will, huh? Then we'll see. Then we'll see who's champion. I hear tell of. I hear that your uh, Putin, that Putin fella that you're so fond of, is gay. Yeah, how you feel about that, you person that enjoys Soviet dictators? Actually, I, I don't like Putin on account of he, uh, you know, murders people and stuff. And also, and not only that, but, oh, I made it through. There we go. No, I don't like playing on your planet. I'm telling you. Your planet is nothing but mean to me all the time. Oh, my God. Ah, no. Okay. Oh, my God. Anyway, um... See, this feels like one of those games that my students would be like, oh, it's not that hard. And I'm like, well, uh, I, I beg to differ. You know, based on the amount of dying that I'm doing. You know, I'm doing the amount of dying that uh, Vladimir Putin's political enemies tend to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like Putin so much. Tell you what, that guy... That guy's an awful lot of trouble. Okay, pretty soon I'm just gonna... <laughs> end this, by which I mean stop playing the game. I'm not gonna, you know, end it all as a result of me not being good at this game. How dare you? How dare you assume such things? Man, you Ruskies really are something, you know, you just... Assume the worst of people is what you do. 
You really don't give a fella a chance to prove that he's, uh, he's all right. Anyway, uh, well, I'm not all right. I'm terrible at this game, clearly. All right. Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, no, not that. I meant X. Close it. Holy Moses. Uh, now, um, let me bring back the infinite regression, because that, that's, there we go. Okay. Whoo. Uh, that was intense. That was a lot of death in a short amount of time. Let's, uh, let's find out how I felt about it, though. Hey, everybody back. Uh, did it, found, yeah, found out how I felt about it, searched my feelings. I knew them to be true. Anyway, um... Yeah, it's true. I'd, I'd like to bear my testimony. I won't, but i like to. Anyway, regardless, uh, here's, here's the fact about this business right here. Uh, so that game is hard. <laughs> it's not an easy game, but it throws you into it pretty quickly, and you're like, oh, I died 17 times, and I'm not out the tutorial yet. You know, and you realize, you're like, oh, boy. This is, uh, yeah, this is what it feels like is somebody hands you your own buttocks. They're like, here, you drop these, and you're like, I don't believe I did. And, th and then you look behind you, and you're like, oh, my God, those are my buttocks. How did you get them? And they'd be like, well, I slapped them right off the back of you with how hard this game is. Anyway, ridiculous, ridiculous. But, yeah, it's very hard. But you know what? It, it is tough but fair. You know, there was no death in there that I felt was the game's fault and not mine fault. There's always my fault. There's always a way through. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a good thing to know. So, yeah. We, uh, you know, we, we, we did it all right. Uh, so, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me put a final score on this. Final score for Atomic Run Jump, Gun Jump, Fun Jump, Hop on Pop. Uh, we all jump. We all scream for jumping. Uh, jumpy Jump, Jumpaline, Jumpy Times, uh, Jump, Might as well Jump. Um, Van Halen, Never as Good After Jump. Anyway, uh, yeah, all those things. Here's the final score for you. Final score... Nine out of a possible 11. No, don't, don't, don't. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, there's Twin Towers back there. So he must be, this isn't even New York. What New York do you know that has a knockoff of the Eiffel Tower? That's right, Tokyo. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so don't 9-11 me, Brosif. I know what you're doing and I don't, I don't appreciate it. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, Ford Apocalypse helicopters. So, uh, that's a solid 82%. Uh, like the music of the game, thought the controls were nice and tight. Uh, even though, you know, it was a little bit of an interesting control scheme to get used to. Uh, but yeah, it was fine. It was fine because the controls are, uh, very well defined. And so anyway... I was reminded of Fort Apocalypse, which was a game that I used to play on the Atari 800XL. Uh, yeah, any of your 8-bit Ataris could play this game. And you're a helicopter flying through a cave, blowing stuff up and whatnot. And there's very tight quarters, and, and you're a helicopter, and you, are, you can't touch anything. Top, bottom, you know, floor, ceiling, uh, any of the walls... Obviously, none of the missiles that shoot up at you and whatnot. Um, and you got to manage your fuel and everything. It's a very, uh, it's a tough game. Like old video games, a lot of old video games were really tough. And Fort Apocalypse was no exception, you know. They used to make video games like they'd assume that you'd only have like, you know, a, a couple of them. And so whichever ones you had, you had to like, you know, develop the skill to be good at the game. And, uh, yeah, Fort Apocalypse, I never played that much. 
I mean, uh, I played it well enough to know what it was. Love the soundtrack. Um, you know, good good audio on Ford Apocalypse and, and good gameplay. You know it was tight. You know the, the controls were good. It's just, it was freaking hard. And so out of all the freaking hard Atari games that we had, this was not one that I chose to develop the skill in. Uh, much as I, I appreciated the game for what it was, and even now I still have a copy of it, um, and do I play it as much as I play, say, Getaway? Getaway, also, you know, pretty tough game, but you, you know, once you start to memorize the map, you know where the traps are and whatnot, and, uh, you, you can start to, uh, do better and better at the game. Anyway, Fort Apocalypse is still an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a tough-as-nails vintage game, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, if you want to play a good old game, Fort Apocalypse, highly recommended. Atomic Run Gun, Jump Gun, Fun Gun, uh, 10K Fun Run for curing Lou Gehrig's disease, whatnot. Uh, yeah, fun game, good time. Uh, very difficult. I mean, for me, you, for you young whippersnappers with your, uh, you know, video game skills that you acquire at birth, uh, maybe not as bad. But for an old timer like me, well, yeah, it's pretty difficult. Anyway, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, take it with several. Uh, watch your sodium. Your doctor called. He said you're uh, getting a bit too much sodium in your diet. Anyway. That is it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.